And Moses said unto God, Who am I, that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? Exodus 3, 11. So, Dragon Ball Daima. You know, it was crazy. Right out the gate, the episode already blows. Like, it sucks so hard. Like, there's nothing good. Like, aside from the animation, the episode is literally bad. And then they try to retroactively add it to the super continuity by adding, like, Bardock. And it's like, I get what you're doing, modern Toyotaro or whatever, whoever is in charge of, you know, putting these things in place. See the vision, but it makes no sense. Like, it literally doesn't make any sense at all. Because it's like, for starters, let me just get all my complaints out of the way because like, the episode at length is literally just a recap of the Boo Saga. Like, rate of fucking pad the runtime. Like, seriously. Is there really just that little material you really give a shit about? Most of the episodes really just them telling them what's going on, what happened within the Boo Saga, and then retconning a lot of shit that goes on in the Boo Saga. Besides one thing I don't have a problem with, and that's like the, uh, the Capito situation with like, you know, him asking to be inside of Boo to defuse without using the Dragon Balls. I thought that was a smart way to, you know, keep it like that until literally later in the same episode, they go to some crotchety old Namekian that pulls up out of nowhere and says like, oh yeah, I can fix the Dragon Ball, so now, yeah, they're not stone anymore. And there's nothing about this Namekian that's different from any other Namekian, at least as far as what we've been able to tell. He's just your average run-of-the-mill old Namekian who is from the Dragon Clan that can just do this. Like, what? Like, it really makes, like, super in like this is my problem with modern dragon ball everything is cheap oh granola has to be a competent threat hey yo i'm not gonna lie this image is crazy work but hey moving on i'm sorry let's just use the dragon balls oh we need some random retcon on why goku survives all the things he does size raditz oh oh dragon balls it's like we need gas to be stronger dragon balls it's like what so shout out goes out to Frollo T and it pretty much goes as follows. Yeah, Omni Man got fucked up by a regular team of heroes in the first episode. He barely survived that fight and those guys were pretty weak comparatively like dead ass though like bro it's crazy that people think that like what is the guardians of the globe gonna sleep bardock too like what bro stop it bro like death battle just be on one bro but anyway shout out to you man peace and, it, and again, the, the wish itself and then the crux of the entire plot itself makes no sense. Because get this, right? The whole bad guy's motivation to turn them into kids is so they don't get in their way. Dude, they didn't even know who the hell you are. They're, they're not studying you. They don't care. Why would they be here? They don't know anything about you. They don't even know you exist. They don't know your name. They don't know you. Why are you even like poking the bear like this if they can literally beat Majin Buu and Devora their light work? I don't understand the problem here. It's so weird, bro. It's so stupid to me. And then the whole thing about the Dragon Ball, let's get the biggest critique out of the way finally. Why? Why is it <laughs> that they retconned this for no reason? And it really does make the whole episode moot. This is like, ain't the whole episode is to recap people on the boo saga why retcon this why say that you use the dragon balls to turn boo into a good guy and let him stay on earth that's not even what happened he was a good guy because mr satan's involvement that is why he was good that is why he is good so i'm confused on the confusion do y'all just not care about anything in dragon ball fans help me understand this because like logically i don't understand why they would need to change this i don't even know why they would add this i don't get it bro but oh i already know what y'all gonna say i was just haters you're hating you just hate dragon ball even though it's my favorite enemy of all time whatever but whatevs man like i guess i just hate the show because i'm critiquing the show like every time bro i told y'all diamond was gonna be shit i told y'all i was like bro this is ass and gt haters bro please tell me why is this better you know why is it that oh when goku the only one that's a kid is a problem but when the whole cast is children now y'all cool with it now, now it's great because toriyama wrote it like y'all y'all super fans y'all super fans and gt haters bro y'all make this shit make sense bro y'all don't know what y'all be talking about y'all are hypocrites because y'all are going crazy over this and i'm like bro is this all it takes for dragon ball fans to be happy just pretty animation and that's it what this shit is ass this is actually bad there's nothing good about this episode aside from animation that's the only good thing about this episode like, everything else is trash makes no sense and really idiotic I mean, when you look at it on face value like why why make the changes you make well, why do any of this like you could have just said okay yada 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 woo -doo -woo -doo. F -f that. you could have just gave us a more arc and if y'all gonna say, oh, it's not enough material, even though it's two fucking arcs are already past, hell three, 